9, give me your call again. Yeah, November 9, Echo Tango Bravo. Name here is Earl. Echo Alpha Romeo Lima. UTH is Illinois. I've got you at 59, 5 by 9, QSO. Okay, very good, Earl. November 9, Echo Tango Bravo, and W1AW Portable 6. Hello, I'm Randy, K7AGE, down at Pacificon, and I'm here with Rick, N6DQ, at the W1AW Portable 6 Special Event Station. And we have, what, one, two, three, four, five stations, I believe. Right, five and stations. what's unique about what we're doing here, or what you're doing here, running five stations? Well, we're, we have the W1AW uh, Portable 6 call sign. So we're trying to get as many people on the air, new people and people experienced, uh, as possible with that call sign. And the idea would be is to put as many stations you can on with essentially one antenna, all working at the same time with uh, high power. Okay. And now, I just, did I hear that correct? Five stations on one antenna at the same time with high power. Correct. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, so everybody wonders, how do you do that? Well, you have a lot of filters, number one. Number two, uh, I like the hex beam antenna. Okay. Reasons being that, first of all, it's a full-sized antenna. There are no traps no tra to okay. burn out. Uh, it's easy to put together in a portable situation. Mm -hmm. um, and what I've done is fairly unique. I'm sure that people have done it, but I separate the feed lines for 17 meters, 12 meters, and 6 meters, okay. and run those separately down to the stations here. And I have a single feed line for 20, 15, and 10, which also run down here to a high power triplexer. Okay. The 17, 12 meter, and 6 meter uh, elements of the hex beam go to separate high power fil bandpass filters as well. Okay, so we come down with 10, 15, and 20 on a single coax, go through a triplexer, which turns it into... Separates into 20, 15, and 10. for each, for each band, and then through a high-power bandpass filter. Correct. Because we're running 500 to 1.5 kilowatts Correct. through these bandpass filters. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and that means everybody can operate without... Hearing each other. Hearing each other. Yeah, it gets a little bit tricky because 17 is so close to... Um, 20 meters, 14 mm -hmm. to 17, and if it's a little bit further away on 15, but 15 has a tendency to get into 12 meters. Oh, okay. So sometimes we have to actually add additional filters between the transceiver and the linear and the amplifier. to okay. to actually steepen the skirts. You know, every time you knock it out, it doesn't when it doesn't have to go through another amplifier, hmm. it doesn't get amplified. Okay, so who manufactures these filters and where are they from? They're from Montenegro over in Europe. Is the uh, old Yugoslavia part of the uh, breakup, and they're made by a company called 403A. 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 So yeah. everybody Google that to see what. If, they, if you Google 403A, <laughs> you'll see the you'll get the filters. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And what are you using for radios? Some 756 Pro Twos and Threes. Okay. Then I have the NRAD roofing filter mod put in them. Okay. Which narrows them from 15 kilohertz on the input to 4.5. Okay. Otherwise, we couldn't do this. Okay. It would be too wide. So you have a selection of different radios. Different now, radios right now. We also have a newer radio, the 7600. 76, okay. And a 746, old, an old timer over here yeah. for uh, two meters. For two meters. On side net. Okay, and yeah. the amplifiers are? Oh, the amplifiers, that, that now uh, defunct company, oh. Tokyo High Power. Oh, no, yes. Yeah, but they weren't defunct when I got them. Yeah. But oh. uh, we have uh, three 550 watt amplifiers and one 1 1.5 kilowatt. Okay. So. And, um, of course, you have computers for all the logging. Yeah, old, old XPs. Oh. Yeah, they you are. Know. And you were explaining you run those off of UPS, so in case you have any power problems. Yeah, we were pretty uncertain here on yeah. on our power situation here at Pacificon. Yeah. So rather than take the chance, and especially the CQP, one year we uh, didn't have UPS back up on the computers, and we blew something. Oh. And we had to start over again. That was painful. Very okay. painful. Okay, well, thanks for your time, Rick. Thank here, you. Here at Pacificon. Yeah, yeah. Back to the Ham Nation show for tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.